I'm not best pleased with your optometrist. I have a referral here, and as you can see, frankly speaking, the handwriting is worse than mine. I'm just picking up investigate headaches. I've got a little bit of information on refraction and vision, the intraocular pressures, but other than that, everything else, I frankly can't make it out. So, I'm going to have to investigate, perform some additional tests. There's nothing about visual fields either, or pupils that I can see. So headaches, location, back of head and neck, how long for please, approximately three months, how long do they last, okay, occurrence, every day, every other day, once a week, three per week, Okay, any associated factors such as double vision? And you have no idea why they're occurring. Uh, good health, no medication. Right, so let me investigate. First up is blood pressure. Roll up your left sleeve. Using this device, working from these guidelines here, systolic and diastolic. Okay, I'll place that on the upper arm there. Breathe naturally. Okay, inflation incoming. Systolic 125, diastolic 78. So that is a normal blood pressure reading. Now we can arrange some blood tests if needed later, but I am going to do one today that checks your blood and glucose. Get this set up for you. to do a little finger prick. Okay, left hand again, index finger please. There's some tissue there. Okay, blood the Lucas reading there. Six point five, thank you. And there is the specific guidelines we're working against. Checking your blood glucose. And as you can see, six and five is in that range. BP, blood glucose, 6.5, time of day, let's have a little listen to your chest. Exhale. 
once more in and out. Normal heart rate, normal sequence to the beats there. Now your optometrist didn't put your unaided visions on the referral. So let me see if I can check that for you. Okay, cover your left eye please. Now just attempt the smallest draw possible on the chart. Okay, and then just cover the right eye. Read the smallest there. Thank you. And I'm just going to check your pupil sizes. I'm placing this just up here. Look towards me. Checking for any nicer chorea. The other pupil sizes equal now a nice choreo five mil each eye. Vision unaided twenty twenty right and left, thank you. And again on your referral there was no solid information regarding your optic nerves. You have to look for any pallor or any swelling. I can look off into the distance towards the poster. Just look into the light. That's so impressed there with your optic nerve. Just look towards the pastor over my left shoulder, please. Let's do this properly. A little bit inexperienced with thermoscope handling. To excuse this sandwich press, it's pesto, chicken, and mozzarella today. Keep looking into the distance. to the light now. Good. Optic nerves fine. So as I say we're looking for any swelling, pallor, any any bleeds, things like that. The blood vessels themselves absolutely fine. And the macular area here. And again, on your referral, there was nothing to say whether your colour vision had been checked. So we'll perform that today. We'll cover your left eye now. This is a monocular test. Okay, I want you to tell me 
which way the E is facing, whether it's up, down, left or right. One more, this side. Okay, cover your right eye. We'll check the left. This is also checking the integrity and performance of the optic nerve. One more. Fabulous work. Colour vision appears normal, monocularly. Did your optometrist do the test where you have to follow a target or light? Okay, we'll do that for your optometrist now. Now we're going to activate the Minecraft light there. You look towards me. Now to the light. Back to me. Back to the light. Okay, keep your head steady as possible. Follow the light just with the eyes. If you see two lights, please inform me. Don't worry if you lose a little bit of focus or if your eyes start to play up. Just report any diplopia. Do you feel a little bit of strain or blur? Just a little. Okay. Don't worry. At least we had no double. Eye movements appeared full and smooth. Now, direct your attention towards the groovy flower at the top of the stick. Follow groovy flower and inform me of any double vision. Just blur, that's fine. Now direct your attention to the happy bee. Okay, any double vision. Okay, just strain, that's normal, thank you. checking the performance of the six extra ocular muscles superior rectus, inferior rectus, medial rectus, lateral rectus 
characters superior oblique and inferior oblique such attributes elevation, depression, abduction, adduction, intortion and extortion convergence definitely less than 5 centimeters no associated diplopia with either test okay let's see how long we have left a few minutes Okay, I would like for you to look towards me. Now look off the poster in the distance. Keep looking at the poster. reactions of here find there. So we have direct, consensual and near responses, intact. Negative for a relative afferent capillary defect. I just want to check some head movements, so I'll tilt the head back. Down. Turn left. Turn right. Okay. To there. And to there. Good. Just going to check for any facial numbness. So feel the sensation, just say yes. Thank you. Have you experienced any hearing issues since the headaches? Any vertigo? Dizziness? Okay, just look straight ahead. Just checking the components of the external air. Try this triangular fossa, absolutely fine. Let's have a look into the ear canal slightly. And for your left ear. Externally fine, concha. Tragus into the canal. Thank you. No blockages. Right, we'll do a little basic hearing test. Look towards me. Right and left. Tell me if you hear the sound, please. OK, 
Okay, is there any disparity? Made it a little bit better on the right, okay. Right, greater than left, slightly. Ear structure fine, ear canal fine. Okay, so we're going to combine these results with your optometrist's refraction fine, no spectacles required, intraocular pressures they had at 12, right and left. Now what I've performed has been quite good, normal findings, neurologically speaking, but we're going to arrange for some blood checks, we're going to check the ESR, looking for any inflammatory markers. Now in the meantime, if you experience any ocular pain or redness, which you clearly haven't got at the moment, you must return. But let's get these blood tests done today with the nurse, and then I shall get back to you with the results, okay? 